Well, here we go. It is time now to bust into this set booster box of Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. I finally received them a week and a half after everybody else, apparently. No problem. No big deal. Let's just do it. Get into this and see what is going on with Tamiel. What is going on with this guy? Um, Kaito. Yeah, totally. Uh, so I have not... Uh, Really followed the spoilers. I, I checked them out and I already forgot kind of what was going on. I know Jin Gitaxis is around and Tamiyo is having some bad times uh, lately. So um, it's going to be kind of new for me uh, just to bust into. And of course, I will be scanning up any of the hits here. Really all the rares and we'll just see if any of them are hits. That's basically what I meant. Uh, new packaging for the set boosters. Um, I think it kind of makes more sense to just slim them down like that. We kind of get it by now. So let's go. Let's get into the Neon Dynasty. Um, I'll tell you that uh, I missed uh, the original Kamigawa block. Oh, very nice art. Right, cool. And I'm looking forward to some of these alternate arts as well. Um, and then like years later, like seeing it, I'm, I was not very enthused about the, the Japan setting. Um, but I do like the future Japan setting of uh, the cyberpunk aesthetic. Um, so I'm here for it. That's what I'm saying. Got a foil sands. And uh, I'm not a big fan of, of uh, anime um, style art. Um, but I, I'm, I'm going to be accepting of this. It, it looks pretty nice from what I've seen of it. So I'm, I'm going to go for that as well. We got a dog. We got a fox. Yeah, so I... I, I I, I, I like the foxes. Um, uh, I think there's a name for these, right? And I forget what it is. Um, so I'm cool with that. Rat ninjas. Dude, how can you not like a rat ninja? I mean, this is totally Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's Master Splinter right there. Um, so as a rat ninja lord, I might go ahead and scan him. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the sagas, the flip sagas. Um, so I'm not sure if they're going to be worth much. Uh, this looks like a commander uh, rare, the Myogen of Towering Might. So let's scan that up real quick. And then our regular rare is a brilliant restoration. 75 cents. Let me turn up the sound so you can hear that, that wonderful ding noise. There we go. First rare away. Brilliant restoration. That's a high casting cost. But it's five bucks. It says it's a promo pack. This is the story spotlight. So to me, it's just the regular couple of, yeah, it looks like the regular is 49 cents. So the, the still early days for this set. The pricing is going to be off here. Um, we'll know the big hits when we see them. The Silver Fur Master is nothing big, but I'll probably keep that and maybe mess around with making a, a rat deck. Um, as a, as a, when I got back into magic and I saw that nin, ninjutsu was a, a, <clears throat> a mechanic, I think I didn't fully really give it the full respect that it deserves. I never really cared for it a whole lot, but I get it now, and I'm definitely interested in sneaking in some uh, unblockable creatures. Um, and then here's the lands. We got a full art Kamigawa land. That's pretty cool. I, I, I do like that for sure. Um, I assume that says mountain because <laughs> it will tap for one red mana, and that's a full art mountain there very cool love it jikai trainee um this style is not too uh anime for my taste so i like it i can i can definitely hang with the, these these alternate showcase arts twisted embrace a colossal sky turtle excellent salvage the modern age so i guess this is a common um saga does that mean that it uh like the sagas get their own spot in uh, in the set boosters. I'm not gonna go too much further than that. We got a mythic explosive explosive singularity it is an NA. <laughs> Come on, let's get a real price here. 81 cents. Big mythic. The big mythic there. Blossom prancer. And we got a, a, a card there again with a huge casting cost. Let's see, I guess we better read it and find out. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Costs one less to cast for each creature tap this way. Deals 10 damage to any target. So, it feels like there's more efficient ways to do 10 damage. 
than to convoke a bunch of creatures to do some direct damage. So I bet that's why it's not a super big mythic. Comment down below if I'm correct or not. And like and subscribe and all that stuff. There we go. Cool art. Nice uh, neon sword there. Enormous energy blade. Sure. I do, I'm really liking the, the cyberpunk aspect of it. Uh, the argument can be made that that doesn't belong in a Magic the Gathering set. Like, it's fantasy, right? So what can be fantasy? So anything that's like pre-industrial, does that is that the only thing that can be uh, in a game like this, a fantasy game like this? I don't, I don't agree. I mean, I don't really want to see like far-flung future tech uh, without grounding it a little bit back so that it's not just literally computers, literally, you know aliens from another planet that are little green men with like you know with the aesthetic of like 1950s sci-fi but if it has like the flavor of being another world where they're just they're, they're aliens they live there we've already seen that kind of stuff like every plane is its own world basically and anything goes you've got versions of goblins you got versions of elves you got versions of merfolk um, I think that can fit into just about any um, type of genre aesthetic if they do it right and i think they're doing it fine here anyway back to the cards inventive iteration this saga costs four you can return up to one target creature planeswalker to its owner's hand you bounce return an artifact card from your graver to your hand and then on the third you can exile it return it to and turn it into a living breakthrough enchantment creature moonfolk with flying it's a 3-3 three, three, whenever you cast a spell, your opponents can't cast spells with the, name, the same mana value as that spell until your next turn. Again, a lot of hoops to jump through to get to there. Um, you'd have to go off of base, the utility of the other things. Which So I'm going to guess this is not a big one. And I am correct about that. So anyway, moving on. Artificer and a uh, card from the lisp. Uh, the lisp. No, a card from the list is Willow the Wisp. That's really what I meant to say. i got to get the tongue tied today. So here, again, my point about the list, as always, is did, did this card really need to be reprinted? It's already a reprint. Come on. Come on. I mean, come on. Just saying. We got... Oh, who's this? Uh, is that the Wandering Emperor? The Wandering Emperor, for sure enough. I, I do like the art style. That's, that's very nice as a showcase. Um, to do a different style than the, the regular Magic the Gathering art style um, and put it into a, a, a bit of an anime uh, look, but not like so overly hyper anime. And you know what I'm talking about. Here we got a full art planes. It is a buck sixty. So I've heard that the shrine tokens can only be found in the set boosters. Is that right or wrong? And they're worth a little bit, so we'll be looking for those as well. Debt to the Kami, and you know, the Kami are the spirits of Kamigawa, and they kind of manifest in crazy ways. Okiba, Reckoner Raid. Hey, there we go. So I think this is a pretty decent mythic. Goshin, Tai of Life's Origin. Legendary Enchantment Creature Shrine. Uh, oh, this is, again, from the Commander deck. You can pay Wooberg and tap it. Return target enchantment card from your graver to the battlefield. Whenever Goshen Tie of Life's Origin or another non-token shrine enters the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 colorless shrine enchantment creature token. Great when you're all in on shrines, I imagine. So that's pretty cool. 2305. So there we go. We'll get a sleeve for this one. Um, available in the commander deck, I believe, if you just buy it outright as a precon. Um, but also available in my set booster. So that's a hit. Where will we put it? We'll put it right there. And we got a, a full border alternate art, Takanuma, Abandoned Mire, Legendary Land. You can add black or you can channel. You can pay three and a black to discard this, mill three cards, then return a creature or Planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. This ability costs one less to activate for each legendary creature you control. That seems pretty uh, lucrative in some of the older formats. I'm going to say that's, that's, that's a good strategy for um, vintage or whatever, maybe. Again, am I wrong about that? I don't know. It's nine bucks, so I'm happy to have it. Seems like a possibility. And another rare. We got Satsuki, the Living Lore. Probably won't read every single one. Maybe I'll just, you know, 
only concentrate on reading the mythics. So I've got two mythics so far. How many left can you get out of a set booster? We've got a ninja. Very cool token. Oops, we're on the back here. What is this? It's hard to discern that. Our, oh, okay, yeah, now she's facing the other way, but she's looking backwards. That's the back of her armor. Peerless Samurai. Cool. Windscarred Crag. We really needed more of those. Asari Captain. The Seven Tail. That's the foxes. The fox samurais are the Seven Tails, I believe, right? Repel the Vile. That is cool. I like that. Kami. Queen of Spirits. Hot Spring. Shattered States. We've got Ogre Head. Helm. Oh, yeah, the equipment creatures. These are these are great. I, I like these a lot. You can actually you can equip it to a creature like it's a, an equipment, or it can kind of stand alone on its own, I believe, right? Reconfigure as a creature, yeah. Maybe they're not worth a whole lot because they're not used yet, but I think it's a pretty neat little take on what can be a card what can be an equipment a living creature can be an equipment kind of like a like a living weapon I'll keep doing these backwards there's Tamiyo and we got a foil um, island that's great completed sage I like the alt art there that's cool and she's already getting her uh, Phyrexian um, corruption going on there so we got a foil uh, uh, full art island let's see what the scanner thinks of that First of all, I can't find it, and that's going to make it difficult to um, get it in there. Ah, searching for an island um, on the scanner here does not work very well. Um, so we're going to, I believe this is a, a pretty decent hit. So we'll throw it on there. Maybe it's five bucks. Let me know down below. Exemplar, Subduer. Yeah, okay. I like the, uh, I like the showcase art style here. It's, it's just Western enough for my tastes. Kamano. Uh, Shigeki. Jukai Visionary. Oh my gosh. Well, that's... Is that good? Um, we got a, a Junji the Midnight Sky in foil. Legendary Dragon Spirit. So let's read that. Flying Menace 5-5 five, five for 3 and 2 black. When it dies, choose 1. Each opponent discards 2 cards and loses 2 life. Or put target non dragon creature card from about grave from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. You lose two life. That seems pretty solid. Let's see if we can get the scanner to see that. Come on, scanner. Come on. Well, at least I can type this one in. Let's see here. Gene G. J U N J I I. Wait. It's only one I. The Midnight Sky. The regular. Ba Bing. It's six bucks, but the foil. Is eight bucks right? So multiple foil multiplier on standard cards, um, usually not a whole lot more because um, standard players really just want to play, right? So they don't really need the big premium on a foil card. Commander players want to flex, so that's the kind of cards that go up in price, right? That's cool. Double samurai blades. Ishin two heavens is one. Moon Circuit Hacker, that's cool. Human Ninja, I like the look of that. Let me know if I miss like a really good common or uncommon down below because I haven't really paid attention. But Siju who endures, so we got a legendary land. Uh, this has got channel, so the land cycle has got this channel. You can pay one and a green to discard it, destroy target artifact, enchantment, and non basic land, and opponent controls. That player may search their library for a land card with a base land type, put it on the battlefield and shovel. It costs one less to activate so this seems like a good commander card and apparently commander players agree wow 2790 for a rare that's a keeper grave lighter and a human monk all right wow it's 14 minutes in and i'm not even halfway through this box so i better like pick up the pace here and just kind of skip through these commons and uncommons. I just wanted to kind of see what's going on with this set, right? We've got to invoke the winds. Nothing big there. Behold the unspeakable. And the belligerent brought it out. Just what I wanted from the list. Let's go. Q 
keep flipping it the wrong way. That is Ao the Dawn Sky. So here's that that uh, regular land, the island. So let me let me see what the foil would have been. Yeah, three thirty-five, just a little bit more. So we'll leave one regular, or we'll leave the foil on there because we have it. And we got some vehicles in this set. March of Reckless Joy, uh, alternate art, I guess. Or showcase, yeah, it's a buck. Tatsunari Toad Rider, I do remember seeing this one. That was kind of cool. Oh, there we got a mythic here. A mythic showcase, Spirit Sisters Call, and it's foil. Let's see, can it see it? Come on, scanner. There we go. 293 for the showcase. The foil is 497. That's pretty good. We'll just rack up all these decent cards over here quickly as we go through the box. What got going on here? Who's this? That it's not Tezzeret, is it? Kaito, that's the other guy. Scoured Barons. Cool ninjas. Yeah, I, I think I like the ninjas a lot. Decoy. Befriending the moths. We got Ryu, Storm's Edge. Just a little bit there. These, pa these packs are opening really weird. Like they're just kind of cutting apart weirdly. Samurai, Hacker, Artificer, Cudgels, Soul Transfer, and a Foil Ryu. And I'm not going to scan it. It doesn't look like it's going to be much more <coughs> than the regular, I imagine. Okay. What am I doing wrong with these packs? Dude, look at that. It just... It doesn't peel open easily. Am I missing a... They don't have the side opener things, do they? Surge Hacker. Bot. Azusa's Mini Journey, that's pretty cool. It turns into Likeness of the Seeker. We got a Kami of Transience. 50 cents. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, what, if anything, could I do differently about these packs? No, nope. it's going to get caught if I open it that way. So we got a signed art card of Swim Sky Swimmer Koi. I mean, the signature gold stamped. It says it's a buck forty nine. Woohoo! And we got a cool mountain. These have been about a buck or two, looks like. Malfunction. The Kami War, another mythic. Uh, as it enters, okay, exile target non land permanent and opponent controls solid, but for one of every color and another one that's a lot return up to one other target non-land permanent to its owner's hand then each opponent discards a card okay exile it turn it into this awesome dragon spirit it's all colors it's got flying trample six six whenever it attacks defending player chooses a non-land card in your graveyard return that card to your hand and then it gets plus x where x is wow that's pretty cool <laughs> it's just a buck though <laughs> but that's an awesome card and we got sheev and harvest so Got a couple of uncommons from the list there. Who's this guy? He's an Oni. Vessel of the All Consuming. Yeah, the Oni are like the demon samurai of Kamigawa. Secluded Courtyard. Gloom Shrieker. Ayo! The Dawn Sky. Another mythic legendary dragon spirit. Got flying and vigilance. You can choose one. Put that's look at the top seven cards of your library. Put any number of non land permanent cards of total mana value, four or less, among them on uh, from among them onto the battlefield. That's solid. Put the rest on the bottom of your library, or put two one one counters on each permanent you control. That's a creature or a vehicle. Very cool. That one's probably good. It's a little good. It's two seventy five. <coughs> Man, coughing it up over here. So. You know what? I'm going to put that in my mythic pile, but I'm not going to put a sleeve in it. Same, same with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
you can't even see the good ones that I got. So there's the new good pile. This guy is Tamisha, Tamishi, and we got a forest. Haiditsugo, Devouring Chaos. So Haiditsugo was red before, right? Well, now he's black. He's an ogre demon. He's a buck. March of Otherworldly Light. Look at that cute little cat. Interesting. It's three something. That's cool. All right. About halfway through the box, and I'm coming up on my my break even point for this box pretty much so that's good so you got a foil foil uh, forest we're gonna assume it's about three bucks or so operative grave lighter margin of roaring blades it's one of the commander rares so these are probably not worth a whole lot reckoner bank buster cool vehicle let's see if it's worth enough I'll read it I'll put it that way Really need to keep this video under like half an hour. But I'm enjoying going through these cards and looking at them. We got Biting Palm Ninja. Let's see how that one is. 45 cents and a seismic wave. It's this guy. Jingataxis. So that's the showcase version of Jingataxis. Very cool. Let's see. Just as an art card if that does anything for you. Not really. Another uh, island. I'll hang on to that. And farewell. Oh, very cool. I had seen this card. For four and two white. You can choose one or more. Exile all artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or graveyards with Seb McKinnon art. See you later, dandelion people that represent literally everything on the battlefield. There we go. Four bucks there, okay. The modern age. Light of day. Got a tempest. Probably a common. Black creatures cannot attack or block. Light of day. How did this card not make it onto the shadow ban list? Am I right? Okay. Moving on. There's the uh, Goshintai, Nizumi, Nizumi, you're already dead, Behold, and in this spot we got a mountain, that's interesting, and then we got an Invoke the Ancients, is just a little bit. Uh, one of the dragons, Atsushi. Gesundheit. Simeon Slain. There's the Equipment Monkey. That was funny. Uh, lion Sash. And an Uncharted Haven. Five bucks for the Lion Slash. So, it's an Equipment Cat. So, this is the, the rare equipment. So, must be good. You can pay white to exile target card from Graveyard. If it was on... If it was a permanent card, put a one counter on Lion Slash. Gets one for each one counter on the lion slash cool so it's a scavenging ooze in white that you use as an equipment but it's a cat i like it cool oops man again these packs are really opening strangely who's this bearer of memory got another forest i saw a centipede Myogen of Grim Betrayal, Legendary Creature Spirit, oops, and another rare, it's a buck, the M Mukutai Soul Ripper, is a little bit, okay, okay, pull all of the pack open like that, there we go, wow, it's got this cyber, uh, like VR, issue going on there. It looks like Cyberpunk 2077 when I try to play it. We've got Foil Mountain. Maybe three, four bucks. 
Spell Pierce has been reprinted again, apparently. Thousand Faced Shadow is a buck. The terrible secrets are on that one. Look at this guy. Looks like Kiki Jiki. I believe it is. Reflection of Kiki Jiki. That's cool. Tanuki. And Kaito. There's Kaito himself. Kaito Shizuki. He's a three mana planeswalker. That's always pretty decent. Um, at the beginning. Oh, it's got a static. At the beginning of your end step, if Kaito Shizuki enter the battlefield this turn, he phases out. So bring him in and then hide him away. That's kind of cool. You can pay one or just plus one to draw a card, then discard a card unless you attack this turn. You can minus two, create a one one blue ninja creature token with this creature can't be blocked. So that's that's a good setup for your next turn. You put out the unblockable creature, and then he hides. So he doesn't really need to be blocked. Like a lot of good planeswalkers want to make some protection for themselves. And this one kind of does it. So you minus seven and get an emblem with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, search your library for a blue or black creature card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. That's solid, man. Let's see. What's Kaito up to right now? 12 bucks. Decent Planeswalker. I like him. And a Cruel Celebrant. Okay, a card that I actually do like, but I already have plenty of them. So I didn't really need it to be reprinted. Okay. All right. Voltage surge. So there's electricity in uh, Kamigawa of the future. Ch uh, we've got a mythic ch uh, gosh, Tashiro. My tongue and my mouth does not want to say these Japanese names. I'm going to be straightforward with you. The Shattered Blade, legendary creature, snake samurai. Let's see. And another mythic. So that's not a big one. The Kami War is... Did we already see this one? I think we did. Am I wrong about that? Yeah, no, we already saw this one. Was it the showcase? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there, I got two different versions of the same card. I didn't realize. This one doesn't seem like a showcase. Okay, this is the showcase then. I'm so confused. It's really hard to tell that this is the showcase version on the front. It looks like regular. It's just the back that is the showcase version. So anyway, we're going to move on about talking about that card. And we're going to look at this. Okay, well, there's a, <laughs> it's a rare, uh, but it's from like literally one year ago or less. Ruthless Technomancer is that card. And it's 420, but this is a foil version, so 1250, so that actually makes it a little bit more rare. So in the uh, Commander um, Precon, maybe this just came regular non-foil, and this is the only way to get this card in foil. Am I right or wrong about that? When enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature you control. If you do create a number of treasure tokens, equal that creature's power. Oh, that's solid. You can pay some artifacts and return target creature card with power extra less from your graveyard to the battlefield. X can't be zero. This seems really good, actually. And, and in foil, I think it'll probably grow. Guys, Will from Modern Horizons 2. Super already 50 cents. And the list version, you know, what would that be? Ooh, it's actually better. 75 cents, I doubt it. So there's my list rare card from last year. Kura. Turn to action. And Springleaf Avenger. Insect Ninja. Man, they go nuts with the ninjas on Kamigawa. That's cool. It must be a big insect though, right? Yeah, 6'5". This is a big, that's a big bug. It's only 40 cents though. And Spirit, so... Thanks for sticking with me if you're this far into the video and you're enjoying this. Make sure to hit the like button and comment down below. I definitely appreciate you taking your time. Wait, that oh, it's numbered. Am I wrong? Wait, are they all numbered? Hold on a second. 
Okay, they're all numbered. Whoa, shoof. So the big talk, of course, coming up eventually will be numbered um, cards, just like other trading card uh, industries. Uh, I got excited for a second there, but that's got to have a gold stamp on the front to be a real numbered card, right? That's not that's not a thing. They there's actually just 81 in the set of art cards. You know what I'm talking about? Legendary land, hard to go wrong with those, right? I I Ganjo, Seed of the Empire. You can channel it. It deals four damage to target attacking your blocking creature. Nah, no, that's not gonna make it. Yeah, I'm okay. I made it a little bit. It's four bucks, sure. Sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I don't. I I don't see that being a big one, but I mean, it's a like I said, it's a land. It's it's it gets a little little bump for having an extra effect on it. Snake Samurai, very cool. Air of the Ancient Fang. I like that. I like that art too. A smelter, <laughs> that's great. Befriending the moss, scrap welder, goblin artificer. Check out the goblins of Kamigawa. Very cool. Nail it with the art as usual. Eighty-eight cents. Says it's the promo pack. I mean, do I need to change it? I haven't even been paying attention this whole time. If I've gotten it wrong or not, you guys will catch me on it. I know you will. What are we making here? Some little inklings. Smoke Spirits Aid. Very cool. Some dual. A crab. They have crabs on Kamigawa. Eater of Virtue. Legendary artifact equipment. Whenever an equipped creature dies, exile it. It gets plus two. As long as a card exiled with Eater of Virtue, it's a, uh, it's a, you know, it's one of these things. What are we talking about? The, um, geez. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. How could you know what I'm talking about? Because I didn't even say anything. Uh, it's an Acroma's Memorial that you can stick onto a creature. That's what I was trying to get to. Okay. If anyone knew what I was talking about, you could say, I knew that. Eater of Virtue. And it's five bucks. Wait, promo pack again. It's only a dollar. No sleeve for you. Treasure Trove as an uncommon from Exodus. <sighs> Why am I going to scan this? I'm going to unscan that one too. I'm not, not happy with the list in general. That card, no one wants it. Uh, Light Paws, Emperor's Voice. Cool. Cool Seven Tails Fox there. Boon of Besiege You. We got a Cure of the Boundless Sky. Um, alternate art. Is that what you call it? Showcase, I guess, right? Legendary Dragon Spirit. Flying Death Touch. When it dies, choose one. Search your library for up to three land. Cards reveal and put them into your hand. Then shuffle or create a green spirit creature token. X is the number of lands you control. You're probably going to do the second one when that happens. Eight bucks for the border list. So. The one sleeve that I had for the sword now gets the dragon. Uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Oh yeah, there's the reflection of Kiki Jiki on the back there. Very cool. Yeah, but so cool that everyone doesn't want it. And we got a Regent's Authority. Very cool in foil there. All right, last pack again. Thanks for sticking with me. This has been a very long video to just open up some packs here. But I'm into it, right? I'm just kind of checking it out here. Kappa, the t the Ninja Turtle. That's yeah. How how quick before the uh, proxies come out with all the Ninja Turtles on them, right? Light Paws, Emperor's Voice is 97 cents, and that is going to do it for this first set booster box of Kamaba Kamigawa Neon Destiny. I got marbles in my mouth today. Thanks for sticking with me. Tragic Empty G. See you later.